Wednesday, February 28th, Merle Norman Stadium, nestled in the heart of South Figueroa Street on the University of Southern California's campus. The court belongs to the national champion women of Troy, at least until the ball is served. Pepperdine season kicks off today with a doubleheader against number three UCLA and number one USC. In beach volleyball, there are no such things as warm-up games. It's a honey of a day in LA. Beach volleyball opening day on Pac-12 Network. We are on the campus of USC inside Merle Norman Stadium. A triple header today. First, the fifth ranked Pepperdine Waves versus the third ranked UCLA Bruins. Pepperdine, a team that is fairly young. They don't have a ton of depth or experience yet. What can Nina Matthews bring? Well, Pepperdine always brings a talented group. They've got a junior class that has been so strong every year helping build the Pepperdine program. So they're looking for some depth, some competitiveness at the five spot, but they don't have the depth they've had in the previous years. It's time to take your shoes off and settle in. Three of the top five teams in the country. We're going to put the ball in the air next. The stakes start high and only increase, so it's important Pepperdine solidifies its five duos as quickly as possible. Too much tinkering, and the team could fall precipitously in the polls. Hey, that is a lose warm up right there. Yes, it's, it's weird. That is the thing, and then it doesn't think that everything is okay. It doesn't matter. It's time to compete. Yeah. It is time to take this place and put on fire. Whatever you have, put it on fire. How is an NCAA beach volleyball game structured? Instead of six for indoor, it's just two man, and there's five lines, one, two, three, four, five, so there's two games to 21. You have to win both of those, or if you go to a third game, you have to win two out of three, and the last game's to 15. To win the match, you have to win three out of the five games, so you could either win 3-2, 4-1, or 5-0. Because of the stadium design, Pepperdine's fours and fives begin the match against UCLA, while the rest of the team cheers them on from the sidelines. For Skylar Caputo, the four spot has opened up a leadership opportunity. Her teammate is a true freshman, Alexis Philippone. It doesn't take long for either to get acclimated. Pepperdine set point. Inside, pulling off. Philippone digs. Puts a lot of on Pepperdine. Takes set number one on court number one. So we are split. UCLA and Pepperdine each have a set. Simo up, Mac May. Off the hands of Philippone. Savvy Simo ready to pounce. Caputo up. Simo attacks and it's long. On court five, senior Maddie Dilfer and junior Nikki Lyons have dropped the first set and are struggling in the second. Assistant coach Marcio Sicoli is trying to calm their nerves. We shoot both? No. So you have to stop this. Okay. So then she got confident and then we go, why are we running to the cut? Your bass stay in the middle and doing what? Reading. Reading and doing what? She shot two lines. So we're trying to do something that is not us. Yeah. Okay, so let's get back. Let's get back in the game. Let's pass again. You have to do what you do best and what we train. If you do something else, I can't help. Fighting off, match point number three. Up and down, and that will do it as Megan Murray and Izzy Carey, the five pair for UCLA, puts the first point of the duel on the board. The first two duels of the day end in a 1-1 split. In the final three games of the match, UCLA comes out with a flurried attack. Don't touch the ball, it's over, call it close, but we all know what this is gonna be. You came to fail the test, you met the best, expect the chest, but got monopoly. I came and bought you out, I met you out. Here comes Megan on loading cross. On core three, sophomore Gigi Hernandez and All-American Heidi Dyer fight to keep Pepperdine in the match. They're guided by graduate assistant and former All-American player Delaney Metzen. Throughout a rally, if things are getting kind of tense, the deeper shots, the deeper swings is going to give yeah. you guys more time to read. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not that they're doing anything tricky, but the longer they have to keep the ball on their side, the more you guys are going to see and be able to read. Okay. Hey, we don't let them out of the rattle box. No, no, no. no. Keep them there. Oh, yeah. Keep, them, keep there. them in there. As long as they shall live. We can take this outside, outside. Pepperdine secures a victory on court three, but with Brooke Bauer and Maddie Rose loss on court two, UCLA takes the duel. No one's gonna give you a darn thing, right? Yeah. No, nothing, not, not a point, not a break. You have to earn it. That, that's where you guys have to earn it. No, no one cares that you're Pepperdine. No, I mean, yeah, they're like, yeah, really? Well, we have to beat you. We end up, what happened to UCLA last year, our last match of the year? We beat them to get them out of the tournament, right? Essie, what happened in the last match? Two points, they beat us. Okay, I mean, you guys, it's like, it, it doesn't matter, new people, old people, whatever, it's the same thing. You know, this team, this program has been in the top. I know that, I, we've been there. But it, it is not because, it doesn't just happen, it's no magic wand. Yeah. It's because of hard work and grit and grind and grinding things out and battling. Yeah. You gotta battle. Yeah. And sometimes they're gonna lose. Yeah. Too bad to said, but you gotta battle. I mean, to, I, you know, Mars, you gotta battle for us. Battle for yourselves. Yeah. I feel like you guys, you know, oh, they're doing this, they're doing that. I don't care what they're doing. It's about you guys. You need to be walking out of here and be proud of yourselves. If we're not going home tonight proud of what we did ourselves, yeah. then we have some work to do. An hour later, Pepperdine has a chance to rebound against the team that ended their season in Gulf Shores, Alabama. The team rises to the occasion. Off the block. Oh, just perfection by Maddie Rowe. Wow. For the duel. You, you, you! I'm on the left. Right I'm on the left, says Dennis. Snaps down and Quiggle will swing. Pounding and big digs. Corinne Quiggle. Crafty wrist comes down to her and Pepperdine avenges last year's championship loss with a win over USC on their home turf. Splitting their two games might seem like a wash on paper, but progress was made today on South Figueroa. First game butterflies were squashed. Duo chemistry began to form, and most of all, demons were exercised. The journey back up the beach volleyball mountain has only just begun, but this team, on this day, now understands what it's capable of. When focused, when dialed in, when playing with a singular purpose, the Pepperdine Waves have the makeup of a champion.